So you probably have this document. You can print it off and fill it in. Um, thank you, Javon. Thank you for being here. Um, come back often. Okay. All right. Good luck with everything. Um, okay. Session one. Uh, you can fill this in. You can print it and do all of that. Uh, but we are going to work, instead of working in this document and filling it in, uh, Anna and I are going to be working in a copy of this document so that she and I can work on it at the same time. And then uh, Anna will share this document with you all uh, in the Facebook group tonight or tomorrow. Okay. So any guinea pigs here, Bryce, who do you want to... Uh, pick on let's let's give people a chance to go through a few of these examples here let's start with cheryl cheryl's always keen to do this yes right <clears throat> what's just, the question just number one here can you see the screen here yes, yes. we are going to do the translations from oh, english okay. to spanish yeah. and spanish uh to english also we are going to just um highlight the subjunctive verb and the trigger word Okay, thank you. Uh, well, I would translate it as I don't feel that I should be doing this. And yes. the uh, the trigger is K, siento K. Um, so deba is, is uh, dejar, the verb dejar in the subjunctive? Deber. Uh, deber, perdón. Yeah, deber in the subjunctive. I don't feel like I, okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Debe, right. All right. Feel like, uh, sh should be, um, Debe should <clears throat> be doing or making this. I don't feel like I should. You, you were right the first time. Doing this. Okay. Yeah. Doing this. Okay. Um, any any comments, questions about that one? No? All right. Who's next? Raise your hand. Mm -hmm. And if it's if it's difficult, that's a good thing. It's okay if you struggle. That's when you learn. Mm -hmm. All right. And you've got all of these people here ready to help you. That's... So don't be embarrassed. All right. I want this partnership to work for everyone. Who wants? I think Brian, I think you. Held your hand up there. Sí. Uh, quiero que esta asociación funcione para todos. Funcione para todos. Para todos. Funcione para todos. Uh, por, ¿Por todos? Uh, para. I... Para. Para. <clears throat> funcione para todos, sí. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Yep, that's correct. Uh, let me try that again. Okay. Oh. I have a, I have a question. Then. I have a question mm -hmm. about the first example. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to say, I don't feel like he should be doing this, how would you say it? You could say it the same way. <laughs> well, I thought it might be this. Is it the same? Okay. Mm -hmm. In English, and you mean in Spanish? Yeah, in Spanish. Say, say that one more time, please. Well, I thought that, that could also mean um, I don't feel that he should be doing this. Yeah. El debe. Yeah. Or I, uh, she's. Deba. Oh, you you meant the, the the. Oh yes, I don't feel I'm, like I'm he. I'm talking about the first or one. She. I'm one behind. Oh, the conjugation yeah. is she. the same for he and she and okay. I. And I. Yes. That's right, yes. David. Thank you. Okay. Do you know? Isn't that an excellent point? Because if it was I, the way I had read it, you wouldn't use the subjunctive because there's not two subjects. But. I don't feel like he or she or it should be doing this, then you would use the subjunctive. But... Yeah. yeah, that's right, isn't it? Okay. In, in this anyway, case, the way in this case, the way that's worded, you have to use the subjunctive with that. Okay. You don't feel like I sh I should be doing this. It's it's okay. yeah, it's it's just the way it's worded. You have you have to use the subjunctive with that. I understand what you're saying because if it's the same subject on both. Yeah, uh, you know, 
Like if I say, yes, like if I say, I hope to see, I hope to see you, espero verte, uh, you know, but if I say, I, um, uh, it's good to see you, I'm sorry, um, but if I say, um, voy a verte, I'm good to see you. (laughs) Yes, 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 I'm I'm sorry, I had a brain freeze right there. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. That's right. All right. Who's number three? I could do it. Uh, I saw Cedric first. So hold it. Fine. (laughs) What what do they expect us to do? Just just uh, translate that to English. Number three, translate it to English. Do you have an idea what it means? No, that's what it's uh, just. What do they expect us to do? <laughs> that is the English. Oh my God. Right. <laughs> I should have read the sentence before I said that, right? That was what do they expect that we do. Gosh, that's humorous to me. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Yes. All right. And so why is why is why are, uh, why is it um, agamos? Uh, yeah, because, because we don't have an idea. It's very uncertain, right? Uh-huh. All right, excellent. Any questions there? Mm. All right. So now, Carol, if you want to do oh, that. Oh, okay. Pregunto. Um, no, te pregunto, ayudenos, no, oh wait, I'm going to do it, but we have to do this, okay, what? Think of pedir, pedir. Yeah, okay, oh, pedir, okay, um, um, te, te pide que, um, Ayudemos nosotros. Nos ayudemos. Te pide que nos ayude. Oh, you. Who's doing the helping? You. Mm -hmm. Right. Who, Who are you helping? Us. Right? Yes. Nos ayudes. That you help us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, in this quest, in this example, you need to ask yourself to whom, who, okay, to us, and us is nosotros, uh-huh. okay. But we and don't have nosotros, to. We use, yeah. But it's not ayudemos because we're not asking us to help us. We're asking somebody else to help us. Right. Yes. Nos ayudes. Got it. Okay. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Great. Okay. So <clears throat> let's keep going. Uh, who's next? So the more examples we can do, uh, and then what I really want to encourage everybody to do is get hold of this tomorrow uh, or tonight and read these out like 10 times or 100 times uh, just so that we you start to, it just starts to sound normal in your head to say te pido que nos ayudes that that doesn't sound weird um que hagamos um so that if you say that in your head and if somebody says what do they expect us to do right oh i know how to say that okay uh who's number five please i'll do it okay um is it looks like is there a good gym that you recommend mm-hmm. i'm yep. supposed to do that right mm. is that correct yes yes okay yeah yay i got it <laughs> good job you get some brownie points I don't know if you can trade them in on brownie cookies right now, but if anybody has not gotten their do dos now's the time. Okay. Uh, number six, any questions on five? 
happening. Okay, number six. Atomi. Atomi, you want to have a go at it? Okay, you can say okay. I only understand like wait a little long. Uh... Okay, what is longer? It's better. Esperar, esperar. Un poquito más. Longer. See, I don't even know what's longer. Un poco de, okay. Longer. Think of more instead of longer. Wait más. a little more. Más. Okay. Poquito. Uh -huh. Poquito. Poquito. Poquitico. Okay. <clears throat> Aconsejo. 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 Uh -huh. That's Aconsejo. advice? Apparently it is. I didn't know that either. Mm. I know consejo, un consejo, an advice, right? Consejos is tips or advice. I want to give you some tips, right? Some advice, consejos. So aconsejo is apparently to advise. When you give the advice, when you are advising. Uh-huh. Yes, thank you. Um, and you were to not incorrect. Un poquito okay. más, un poco más. You will hear it. Un okay. poquito. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But if you uh, if you said, could you say, te consejo que esperes yes, un yes, poquito más? Could you say that? Yeah, she was, I think she was just demonstrating the structure. Oh, okay. Yes. 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 I, I think you want that K in there. Yes. Okay. Good job. I think you Good have job. to have that K, don't you? Yes. Yeah. So that, yes. Okay. You. Yes. <laughs> yes. And, and this is going to be, you're going to see this tons and tons and tons of times. That K, the K alone by itself doesn't necessarily mean that you have to use the subjunctive, but Oftentimes, espero que, I can say que, um, quiero que, that, those two words together is a pretty good indication. Conjunctive here. Uh, and something else is what um, James and James were explaining at the beginning why the subjunctive is to express feelings, emotion, desire, advices to give advice. If you see all these, Examples are all about that, okay? And, uh, I'm asking you, it's a request, uh, recommendation. We ask for recommendation, or we give recommendation, number five, to give advice, number six, okay? And so all of this is the first one. We're expressing feelings. I don't feel like, um, desires, I want this. Okay, so this is the subjective. That's why it's more than just a trigger word. Is the is the the feeling? Mm -hmm. Okay, number seven. Who's next, Peter? I don't think I've heard from you. You have to remind that. To okay, you. It's um, too easy. It's too easy for you, Peter. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you should do the next one. Yeah, this this English to Spanish is harder. It's <laughs> good. It's good that um, he is learning another language. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Do number eight also, Peter. Okay. Uh, tienes que no sé to remind. Yes. Tienes que recordar to remember. In this case, you would use you use it as recordar. like to remember. Okay. Tienes que remember. Tienes que recordes. Recordarles. Recordarles. Um, uh, and then you get the K. Yes. Tienes que. 
Secundales. Traigan, traigan, traigan el Napi, vino. atraer el vino? Traigan. Well, traer is the, is the infinitive. So think of the, uh, think of so the subjunctive. To bring form. is the subjunctive verb here? Traer, traer is the verb. Now convert it to the, the third person. Tra subjunctive. Traigue? Traiga. Plural. Tra traigan. Traigan. Oh, oh, them. You have to remind them. To bring them. Okay, traigan. El vino. Mm -hmm. El vino okay. blanco. El vino. Okay. El vino so now, Peter. Tinto. Yeah, vino tinto. Okay, <laughs> específicamente. Solo le gusta vino, vino tinto. Okay, bueno. So, Peter, I would like you to just read number eight fast, like the Spanish. Okay, just say the whole sentence. Tienes que recordarles que traigan el vino. Exactly. See how that, that makes sense now, right? Say it again. Okay. Yeah, you got it. You, okay. Recordarles que traigan el vino. Maybe a little. Tienes que recordarles que traigan uh -huh. el vino. Okay, so... Um, you will hear Spanish speakers saying, uh, remember me to uh, do something tomorrow, right? Because there's not a good distinction and we have to help uh, practice the, you know, remember something versus remind me something, right? We have to help with that. All right. Um, Edgar. Número nueve. Listo. Listo. Um, uh, they need, um, ellos, ellos me necesitan, ellos no, they need me, ellos me necesitan, ah, sí, ellos me necesitan para, para llevarlos a la tienda. Creo, ¿no? Ah, ellos necesitan que, que, los, que yo los lleve, que yo los lleve a la tienda. Uh -huh, that's right. Yo, yo es uh, optional. Eh? Optional, yes. Okay. Los, los llevo a la tienda. Necesita ellos. Okay. Y número 10 también, Edgar. Uh, espero que salgan con nosotros. Uh, I, I hope or oh, I, I expect. Uh, they they go out with us this weekend. This weekend. Mm -hmm. yes. um, I'll write that. Hold on. Uh, that was going for hope, but I understand a lot of times people say expect <laughs> or for expect also. Yes. Is that what you have in mind? Yes. Um, okay. They go out with us this weekend. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Uh, there's a there's a question from Brian. They need me to take Brian. them to the store. So is it ellos me necesitan que los lleve a la tienda? Yes, that's a literal translation and it's right. Okay. That's how you will listen. Okay. That's what you will hear from us to say. Ellos necesitan que los, que, que los lleve, que yo los lleve a la tienda. Mm -hmm. Ellos me necesitan. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's 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 correct. It's, I will adhere that. Okay. That's what you will hear from us. Okay. That's how we speak. Okay. The second is uh, like a word by word translation. Uh, that okay, is not. Okay. It's not incorrect. It's correct. But mm -hmm. um, but you want to speak more like this. Like, sí. like this one. <laughs> that's that's what you will hear from us. Yes, you're very welcome. <laughs> 
I think I'm the only one standing. So I'm going to sit down. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. Bryce, who is the next one? Oh, we're going to go with Pat. Which one are we on? We are on number, number, 11. number 11 here. Oh, I have no clue. Okay, um, let's just let's just go through and help you do this here. Do we know how to say sad? It's triste. Okay. <clears throat> and what did they do? What are they? Mm. They so yes. triste K. Okay. Pat, sad triste that. K is it's sad that. Mm. All right. Something. Um, so how do we say they how do we say they have? You know, the form is tener que, so use that as your clue. Tener que. I that's okay. Don't stress. All right. Um, okay. So let's just write it and then let's yes. get Pat to read it. Okay. Que irse. Tan pronto. Pronto. Say pronto. 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 Yeah. Okay. So Pat, um, read, read this sentence here. Es triste. Es triste, triste que tengan, tengan que irse tan pronto. Se tan pronto. Tan, tan pronto. Tan pronto. Good job. Pronto. Okay, pronto. Not pronto, pronto. Yeah, pronto. That's, that's, that was, I corrected James and then I screwed it up myself. <laughs> <laughs> James, you should have come back at me and say, hey. <laughs> I am just so far behind. No, this you're not. Just... No, you're on a path. You're on a journey, Pat. You're on a journey. And and, and something that you can use Great. or we can use is try to translate word by word. Okay. Mm -hmm. These, like for example, it is, esto es, sad, triste, that, que, they, ellos. Okay. If you do that exercise, you're translating word by word, so you will have a sentence. Then you read it, and then check, is that subjunctive? Uh, instead of using subjunctive tenga, I'm using tener, so that's not right. So you, you look for that word, and you start building uh, like the structure of this, this sentence, okay? Um, also, it's good, it's good for you to identify what words you don't know, so you can just write the vocabulary and learn that vocabulary. I uh, I flunked English. I have no idea what subjunctive. Has, that's her, has, that's her point, Pat. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, you're not alone. <laughs> yeah, but you're not alone, Pat. Okay, so um, this is really important that, that when we studied English in school and they tried to teach us all these different, uh, the names of all these different tenses and moods and everything, uh, we learned how to speak correctly somehow, but we didn't learn the names of all these things. So don't get caught up on this, that this is subjunctive. You, you know, I know you're hearing us talk about it all the time. <clears throat> example, que tengas un buen día. 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 Que un... Buen dia. Buen dia. Good job. So that is an example of a sentence. Have a nice day. Que tengas un buen dia. That you can write down and say a hundred times and remember. And then when you are interacting with a Spanish speaker, you will know how to say have a nice day, even if you don't know that that happens to be subjunctive. Okay, that is the point. You can learn how to say have a nice day without learning that it's subjunctive or why it's subjunctive. Yeah. 
Okay. All right. Uh, number 12. Cedric. Cedric. That'd be good. Yeah. Cedric. Yeah. Okay. This is not what I want to happen. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. See? <laughs> Perfecto. Just as a, just as a, a note, you can also use um, pase, but I, I decided to use to say that because you know, I don't use that that much, so I want to just you know use it. But uh -huh. this is not what I want to happen. All it's right. Okay. Okay. Quiero que suceda. Okay. Quiero que okay. suceda. So it's not sucede. It's suceda. Yes. Okay. This is great. Uh, we're approaching 90 minutes. So let's just do a couple more and then we'll set you free. Uh, is Kenny here? Kenny is, is Kenny Twyman? listening? Twiman? I don't know how to pronounce names or last names. Ruth <laughs> or Ruth or Steve or Hablo Español. Estás aquí? Okay. ¿Quién es? El... David, David Ugarte. David Ugarte. <laughs> Número 13. <clears throat> okay, in English, it is important that we read out loud to practice pronunciation. Okay. Entonces, it is important that we. Es importante, es importante que leamos en voz alta para practicar la pronunciación. Good job. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. He gets a lot of practice every day. It's not fair. He, just, he has to write the next book. Uh -huh. He gets paid to practice. Okay. Uh, he should help with the next book. Absolutely. Why don't you guys hook up? James and David and Anna and everything and wow. Okay. Well, we are already getting help from David yes. with the uh -huh. Facebook. But yes, we were very happy to get more help from let's, him. Let's get his name on it. Okay. Um, menos. Okay, number 14. Who is uh, Hablo Espanol? I am really curious. Hablo Espanol. Sabrina said that she is out of Espanol, but she was having problems with the connection. Okay. Do you want to just so, uh, turn it off? I don't, I don't think she's here. Sabrina's left? Yes, she was trying to connect from this account of Espanol and another. Okay. Let's just, I'm just going to go ahead and bump them out so it's not distracting me every time I look there, okay? Okay. Um, all right. Uh, who's next? Number 14. Carol, are you bored? No, but I will do it. A menos <laughs> que cambien el horario, no puedo ir a la playa este fin de semana. Um, unless the, um, <clears throat> the, time, the, uh, the time has changed, um, I can't go to the beach this weekend. Unless they change. Unless they change the time. The, the schedule. The schedule. Oh, the schedule. But you, okay. but you, but you have the, but you have the, the gist of the. Yeah. Statement. So unless they change the schedule. I can't go to the beach this weekend. Like that? Is that what you got in mind? Yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. Uh, make that a little bit bigger. Uh, somebody want to try number 15 while we got a couple more minutes? Who wants to do that? Hey, uh, puedo uh, probarlo. Okay. Um, let see. Espero que este partido termine antes las nueve. Ah, uh, day. 
¿Eh? Yes. Antes de las nueve. Ya. Yeah. Espero que este partido o juego termine antes de las nueve. Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Good job, Brian. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number 16. Who's next? Who hasn't went in a while? Ruth? I was just trying to think of what some of these words are. Is I have to work in this uh, puesto. I don't know what that is. Position. 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 Hasta, that means until that contra the end. Until they uh, I don't, what's that? Contratar so, is the verb, but it's, it's to hire. To okay. hire. To hire. Oh, until they hire someone else. Someone yes. more. Uh -huh. Someone else. Whoop, where am I? Sorry, Anna. Hmm. Like that? Yep. All right. Okay, so I want to wrap it up. Um, thank you for your patience, everybody. I hope... I hope that you do get the book, that you get into the book, flip through it. Um, I hope that, uh, you know, join me in celebrating James's win here. I know that. It's it, our win. It's our I feel, win. <laughs> I feel pretty guilty that my name's even on the book cover, but uh, I hope I contributed something. I know Anna contributed, golly, Anna. God, I wish you, yeah, you did everything. Um, okay, uh, but this is absolutely, this is James Roseborough's book. Um, he created so much here. All I did is help him get it on Amazon. Um, and it, and it's Thank you. Great. Uh, the, um, I would love to make sure that you all have a chance to use this book, uh, you know, when you're practicing with other people. Um, it, it's, we took great pains, Anna took great pains to make sure that the layout was formatted specifically for the Sherlingo method. So go ahead and use it. It's not something you, that you need to use all by yourself. Um, if you have any questions about when to use it, how to use it, uh, if you have questions about any of the content, um, many of us have reviewed the book over and over and over and over and over again, but if you find any errors, omissions, improvements, please let us know. Uh, we very, very, very much appreciate it. Okay. I have a question uh, about how to use head night. Good night, everybody. Good night, Cheryl. Cheryl. Thank, Thank you so much. Good night. Thank you. Yes, Carol, what's your question? Well, I'm not really sure. Uh, okay, so I read the introduction and a lot of the beginning of this, but I'm not really sure. Um, aside from using it as a reference book, how you want us to use it. So um, my vision, all right, is, is repetition, that you use these examples with your practice partner enough times that it, it makes sense and it sounds normal, that when you're using the subjunctive, it sounds normal, right? Like, uh, one of the examples that I use, let me stop sharing. Hold on. Did you already see that? You yes. did that. <laughs> Ojalá que tengas un buen día. Uh-huh. Right. So, um, que tengas un buen día. Okay. And estés en estás. Right. Estás. Right. Estás en tu cocina. Right then? See, that's it. You're there. You're in your kitchen. Estás en tu cocina, right? But espero que estés super bien. I hope you're doing well. You may or may not, may or may not be doing well. Estás bien. And that, that little difference between estás and estés. My goal is that you use this book with somebody else, not just with yourself, 
um, enough times that that little different actually starts to sound normal instead of like, what the heck was that? And, and today, Carol, we were focused on, um, you know, the present subjunctive, but we're going to get into the ayas and the ubieras and things that are a bit higher level. And I think you're going to um, stretch yourself a lot more when you get to that. Oh, I already have stretched myself a lot more. <laughs> But, okay, but also, something about to use the book, okay? So if you go, for example, right now, I, I, I'm page 38, okay? And if okay. you see, there are number 10 and 11, rest, sleep well, okay? You don't want to understand the subjective, okay? The examples are there for us to, to like, not memorize, but understand. If I say rest in Spanish, Wisconsin. in English, I mean, how do I say, or how do native Spanish speakers say the same thing? In, in the same thing, okay, que descanses, descansa, okay? And that is subjunctive, but that's how we will say it, okay? Um, and sleep well. That's something that you you have heard millions of times, okay? Que duermas bien, duerme bien. That's how we say that, okay? That's how we Latinos talk, okay? So you can read, sleep well, okay? Que duermas bien, and then you can just... Repeat out loud that three times. Que duermas bien, que duermas bien, que duermas bien. You won't forget that. <laughs> okay. I promise you that. Yes, you, Bryce? You, uh, I just wanted to make a small note so I don't forget it. Just for the people that may not know, uh, if I say que tengas un buen día, you know, it's just it's just short for espero que tengas. We're just, it's just shut, cutting off the espero, you know. Que descanse, you know, espero que descanse. You know, it's, uh, you're just cutting off the espero, so... That's a question I've heard people say before. Like, why is it que tengas? You know, or why is it? And that's and that's fantastic because, uh, you know, the same thing. Sleep well is like a command, but what our sentiment is is really, I hope you sleep well, right? And and right. really, in English, when we say that, um. When we say good night, what we're really saying is, I hope you have a good night, you know? And so uh, yeah. there is a question here. Um, Ruth, ojalá, is that subjunctive? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> not, <laughs> that not is a itself. trick. Right. That is a trigger word. Okay. Ojalá expresses a wish, a desire. I hope, a wish. Okay. So when it comes, after ojalá is the subjunctive. Yes. Ojalá que duermas. Duermas is the subjunctive. Duermas bien. I hope you uh, sleep well. Ojalá que duermas bien. So ojalá itself is, is uh, it counts as the subjunctive, ojalá que, but it's not the subjunctive itself. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as we close down uh, this meeting here tonight, the whole purpose of this is to make your Spanish learning journey easier, not harder. That's what we're trying to do here, make it easier, not harder. And we really, really believe that using examples and hearing things over and over again and hearing how Spanish speakers actually say this, being exposed to this tense, this magical, wonderful um, tense that opens up all your hopes and dreams and feelings and expressing yourself um, is going to make your journey easier and faster uh, and more colorful, more interesting. All right. I will add something to this. So the book, okay. So we are in this Facebook group, all of us, okay. So we are going to have six sessions, but after the week number six, does it mean that we are going to close the group and okay, everybody, that's all, bye-bye, no. <laughs> this is not a race, okay? Uh, we can go and read or learn whatever we are reading, whatever we are learning, but if there is question, for example, okay, I didn't understand the, in the page 39, example 17, can, can someone help me with this? Um, is there another way to say this or whatever? Or let's say, for example, the, so yes, we are there. We are going to help. We are going to um, give some explanation or whatever. And say, for example, that you are in the activities, okay? So the activities are page 50, okay? And let's say that 
we are, for example, Ruth. Ruth is working from one to 10, those exercises. And she's not sure about one of those. Or she will like say, hey guys, look, I did this. I took a picture of my, my notebook or whatever. This is what I did. Can't help me to correct this. Is this right? Okay, we're there. We're going to help you. And if you have questions, okay, we're going to do our best to give you the best answer. And so that's how we're going to study this book. That's how we're going to help. And we don't need to learn everything in six weeks. You know, we're just, just trying to get into help to understand more about this. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why we, we are just, okay, join this group, join this group, the WhatsApp, the Facebook. But yes, in Facebook, you can channel, you can ask this question or you can ask us to review your examples or ask for advices. Or, uh, I think it's, uh, this is another way. Is this right? Well, we will tell you. <laughs> yes, it is. Or, no, it is not. Mm -hmm. It's going to get easier because now, yes. regardless of whether you feel it or not, the seed has been planted and it's, it's going to grow. I mean, there's so many things that I started saying and and I would say them, but then later on, it would just like hit me. And I would just say something that I didn't know how to say, say two months ago, well, you know, just, just along the way. So, but the seed is planted. It's going to get a lot easier. I see Steve wants to say something. What do you want to say, Steve? Uh, I was just going to say when, when you were talking about how to use the book, um, after you, you see a couple examples in uh, Espero que, you know, tengo un buen día, right? So I hope that you have a great day. Espero que duerma más bien. I hope that you sleep well. There, there's many things that you'll start to to feel and and they'll, they'll just start to feel correct, right? So after you've done or seen an example or two, oh, that one went here. Oh, this is how that that sentence came together. Together, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, the next time you're trying to express yourself, I hope that something, it's just going to happen, right? So as long as you you understand the verb it, in your mind, you're going to be like, oh, well. You know that that switch uh, will will happen really quick, and kind of what James was saying that seed is planted, and as you go through and you see a couple of the different examples, um, they're they're applicable, but they may not be yours. And when you figure out that next thing you want to say, and you can do it, that's sure. when the leaps start to really happen. Then you go, aha! Wow, fantastic! Yes. Yep. All right, everybody. Thank you, James Roseborough. Thank you, Anu Garte. And thank you, all of you, for being part of this dream. Um, I'm very happy with this right now. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, come next Monday. Come next Monday. Yes. Um, let's encourage everybody. 